In this video, we will continue on with creating a bar chart with database arrays. So right now what we have so far is we have created our first item here. And of course, we have still far more to do here. As you can see, we have a lot of other options, still more that we can add up here. So we want, let's create here for the profit and the cost as well. So let's explore what we can do here. Well, basically to do and create the arrays, what we need to do is we have to do this here, basically making here another one and another one. And this one will be the cost. And this will be, of course, the cost row. And here we will have the profit. And then we have here the profit row. All right. So once we have this one, we can connect. If we have this all here, that's fine. And oh, what we need to do here, of course, is to create the array here. So we say here revenue and another one here. And all we do here is the cost and we say here profit. All right. If we save this, we're almost done here because what we need to do here more is basically do exactly the same. We just copy it. And there's uh, basically once you are able to convert your PHP values into a uh, JavaScript version, it's very easy from there on to take over and start to put it into a chart. Yes. So we say here, our cost would be a cost, and this one will be our profit equals the profit here. All right. So once we save this, we're not done yet because we need to put in these data sets in here. So what we can do here is let's duplicate the data sets multiple times, at least two more times. Put in a comma here paste and another comma and paste and in here all we can do now is just adjust this so we have here the revenue so i think the next one would be a cost and finally will be our profit here all right so once we have that what we could do as well is give it the right color so revenue could be blue and if we look here basically in here you can see this is blue uh, the second value is blue the first value is red, so that would be our cost color. And then eventually green is the fourth value here. So that's these are the colors. So for, for our profit, we use green. For revenue, you, we use blue. And for cost, we will use red. All right. So what we're going to do here is this is revenue. And if I'm not mistaken, revenue was the second value. I'm going to remove everything here except the second value. Remove the brackets because we don't have an array. It's not anywhere in array. We want to have a fixed value here or fixed color design here. All right. Uh, make sure there's a comma here and then remove this. All right. That works. That's the first one. So the second one is cost. The cost is the red color, which is the very first value here. We're going to remove everything else. Put a comma here because there's a continuation of values. Put in here. Do the exact same here. Delete all of this. Go back here. Put in a comma. And the final one is the green one. And the green one, if I'm not mistaken, was the fourth value, which was focused on this. So I'm going to remove everything between there and everything beyond there. All right. Put a comma here. Remove these brackets here. No array, remember? This is the colors are, are an array. This is the reason why right now you're seeing this loop. It loops through these colors. Because once you don't have or once you have more values. And you don't have any more colors assigned to it because there were only six colors here. It will start to look through. All right. So once we have this here, let's remove all of these here. There you are. So once we have this, we can save this now. We should have now three different items. And now this is really nice because you can see here we have this and all the colors here matching. Beautiful. So what we could do as well is basically get here a text that we need to have here because we don't have i realize we do not have the label here we're going here we don't have the exact label here we only have this part here but we don't have any text indicating here the revenue so so we might have to make a separate part for that where we put in a new table and in this table we will indicate the revenue which is possible on there or we can hard code it for now it's one or the other so we'll probably check in the next video. We're going to put in a label. We're going to put in this in a new table and connect them together and grab them and put in here our label names that are matching with it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy 
this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.